All right, so welcome back to Just Drink It. I'm Barbara. And I'm Annie. And today we're going to be discussing weeded bourbon versus rye bourbon. So we're going to start off by talking about how bourbon came to be, how it became known as the American spirit that it is today. It was originally being made out of rye, and then down in Kentucky, they started using corn mash to make the whiskey instead, mm -hmm. because corn, you can actually make a lot more whiskey out of it than you can with rye because of all the sugar. So you get a lot more ethanol out of it. When you are distilling with corn, you lose a lot of the flavor that you would get with a rye. Okay. So what they would then do is then they would add back in some rye and some barley and or wheat. Mm -hmm. um, there's always going to be a little bit of barley that's going to be added mm -hmm. to uh, rye or bourbons because it helps break down the sugars that you need for the fermentation process to make them sweeter. So barley is important. It doesn't really do much for the flavor, important for the sugars and fermentation. And that was how they were making this whiskey, mm -hmm. basically. And trade was happening down the Ohio River, mm -hmm. and they basically wanted to distinguish themselves from the northern rye whiskey, so they started calling it Old Bourbon. And it became pretty mm -hmm. popular because rye is really spicy, mm -hmm. and so bourbon was pretty great because um, it was sweeter and it was a little bit more mild. It was a little bit smoother mm -hmm. and you could still get some of that flavor from that rye that you like. So, so there are rye whiskeys. Yes. And uh, rye bourbons. Yes. A rye, it has to be made out of 51% rye. Okay. And that obviously can't be a bourbon because yeah. bourbons are 51% corn. Yes. Okay. Got it. Rye bourbon. So these are higher rye. Mm -hmm. um, bourbons so that usually means they contain about 20 to 35 okay. percent rye in their mash versus mm -hmm. some bourbons might only have 10 percent rye so is the percent. other 25 percent um barley or is there other stuff in there too um it's kind of like a secret blend well so like it just depends but so yeah so the, it will be like let's say it's like 35% rye mm -hmm. for the four roses. Um, then you're gonna have obviously only 51% corn. Corn, mm -hmm. but it might even be a little bit higher than that. Okay. So you might um, only have like 5% barley. Okay. Or something like that. Yeah. It just has to be at least 51%, but it can be more. Yeah, it can be more. Makes They're not sense. like, no, must no. <laughs> it was 51.2, so it's not a bourbon. It's not a bourbon now. So I was Googling like the difference between rye and bourbons mm -hmm. and trying to figure out some of the basic chemistry. And what they did was they took a bunch of taste testers mm -hmm. and and these were like top tier taste testers. Mm -hmm. So Not it was me. Yeah, so it wasn't just us boobs. It was like <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah. like real creme de la crop. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taste testers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from like an actual <laughs> wine school. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, and they had 15 bourbons mm -hmm. and nine ryes. Mm -hmm. They're all random. Mm -hmm. They had all agreed on the set characteristics to describe the drinks, and then they tasted them. Mm -hmm. And they could not distinguish the difference between the bourbons and the ryes. Of course. Yeah. So basically, it's all a lie. No, it's not all a lie. Okay. <laughs> the mash bill is just one part of like 10 or 20 different things that go into distilling. Mm -hmm. And they did do a follow-up test where they took these just clean distilled mashes. So mm -hmm. after, right after they've been distilled, they haven't been aged yet. Mm -hmm. And like you can taste the difference between a like a weeded bourbon and a high rye. Like 
there's clearly a difference happening mm -hmm. between them. Like you can taste differences in bourbons and ryes once you, uh, before you put it in the barrel. So what does the barrel do then? So the barrel is actually, <laughs> I looked this up. So the barrel's cellulose. Mm -hmm. Remember how I was talking about the hemicellulose? that got broke down when you were charring it into the different sugars. Mm -hmm. So that's like in the cell wall. The cell wall is also made up of the cellulose, the fibers, mm -hmm. and uh, rise cellulose like and oak cellulose are really similar. Oh, okay. So <laughs> when you're putting them in the barrels, yeah. it's soaking up that oak. I see. And it's just taking in some of that flavor already. Plus, a lot of bourbons already have rye in them. Yeah. I'm, okay. And you can technically have like a bourbon that's 51% corn, but then 30% rye. And you're like, it's going to be a, a lot harder to tell the difference. Right. What do you do? And I have today a handy dandy tasting wheel. <laughs> I think I'll like these more. These are the weeded ones. Yeah, so that's Larceny. Okay. <laughs> Alright, oh, that was good one. Yeah, alright. Wow. I said wow. <laughs> yeah. Now I learned a thing today, a few okay. things. So if you're, the smell is kind of overpowering you, you can like smell the back of your hand and know wipe your nose clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually Did the tray. Did you just lie to me? <laughs> no, that's actually. Or the inside of your neck, like your elbow. Like <laughs> now you want to take a guess at. Okay. So let's go. Take a oh, guess at. Yeah, yeah it's on the wheel. I'm gonna go with grain because it is wheat. I smell maple syrup. Yep, no. that's one of the. I know, but it's because I read it. My candy. Can I taste it? How to sip whiskey. Step one Place glass below your nose at mouth level. Slowly lower your nose towards the glass with your mouth. Slightly open. Okay. <laughs> Ow. I laughed into it and burned my eyes. <laughs> okay. Step two. Slowly sip the whiskey, as if it is hot. Make sure to not shoot the whiskey quickly towards the back of your throat. Swirl the whiskey around in your mouth for at least five seconds. And get around your... Oh. I swallowed it. Ew, what are you doing? You wanna get it all around your tongue. I don't like that. It's too many sounds. <laughs> Is there like a fruit? That's a lot of mouth sounds. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot. Oh, what is that? It's just very sweet. Um, I... But I think it was good. It's super smooth though. Yes. It is very smooth. There's not a lot of even tingle in your mouth from it. No, not at all. Yeah. Like maybe a slight warmth in the back of my throat. Yeah. But not like a burn mm -mm. or no, nothing like that. Yeah. Alright. I would say I would buy how much was this? Um, that was twenty bucks at oh. Sam's Club. <laughs> Shoot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we buy her all day long. <laughs> yeah, I think at a lot of stores it's 25, but people, like, if you can find it, because people say it's kind of, can be harder to find, but yeah, if you can find a bottle, it's like $25. Yep. No, there was something else I learned mm -hmm. too, and you can like take, I'm just gonna take some of the whiskey and you rub it in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And then you smell it. 
Did you know that you're not supposed to put your perfume on your wrists and rub it? Really? Because it like heats up and it changes the... Yeah. That's what I heard. Well, Could yeah, that's why you just gently first and then you rub your hands, palms a little harder together and it breaks down more of the whiskey so you can mm. smell even more of it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Hairs? <laughs> you smell fruit and floral? That's, I mean, just, I think. I think I smell like a clove or something. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I wow. like it so much better now than when I tried it earlier. Wow. What was that? That wow. was very aromatic. Wow. Mm. This I felt like it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she's sweet. Okay. We tried this earlier off camera and I didn't really like this. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was kind of hot, spicy, and not sweet but I think I was just, you know. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine drinking it. But this is like kind of buttery mm -hmm. and um, oh, it's good. It's, it's definitely sweet. Yeah, it's super sweet. I I think, I don't think it's uh, coffee. Well, maybe it's not coffee, but like, or chocolate, but maybe like coffee-ish. Oh yeah, yeah. I can but see that. But super sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a I'm tearing tearing like soup. maple syrup. Vibes. Yeah. I, I okay. I'm kind of. <laughs> Why is it kind of good? <laughs> That's because you learned how to drink it finally. You know? I like really got the coffee. Yeah, it's definitely there. This is solid. How much was that? This was forty one dollars. So that's still really good. This one has like vanilla, honey kind of vibes. And this one is a little bit spicier, a little more <laughs> aromatic, I think. Yeah. Um, it's, I felt like it kind of had a coffee taste, a maybe like, not quite cinnamon, but like something aromatic. If you like Maker's Mark, this is, if you were like, I like Maker's Mark, <laughs> this is a good bourbon to try. Mm -hmm. If you're new. To I it. really liked this one. And that I, is also a great bourbon. I'll set this here. I honestly, even though um, it was $41 and that's a lot for me, <laughs> I would probably, I would buy this again. You would buy that like, yeah, one again? Was, yeah. I liked that. So this is for Rosen. For Rosen. Rosen. <laughs> for Rosen. This is for Roses. <laughs> this is the bourbon that got me into drinking bourbon. So. Good pops today. And this is made with rye. Um, now they will use four different single barrels for blending this. So they have like a total of 10 different- That's a lot. <laughs> Sorry. They have, like, <laughs> they have like 10 different uh, bourbons that they make. Mm -hmm. And on their single barrels, they have like a label. And so you can look and see what type of mash that they use. But with this, they just blend four different types of barrels together four different batches. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, four roses, small batch, Kentucky Shake Bourbon whiskey. Cool. You wanna know something funny about four roses? Yeah. Uh, their label in the 1920s was a swastika. <gasps> Why? Why? Well, that's before Hitler. It was oh, the 20s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hitler kinda ruined that. Yep, he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that tastes. <laughs> that smells completely different. I really, yeah. truly did not think like there was any difference in smell, mm, little difference in taste <laughs> because you know I don't ever drink and compare. But that smells way different. It smells spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I just smell spicy. I yeah. Maybe. I think I smell some wood. Oh, I was gonna say earthy. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, this is going to sound really stupid, but it's kind of like crisp. I definitely taste that oak. Mm-hmm. I would say wood. Yeah. And maybe nuts. It's, yeah. <coughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Go down the wrong pipe. Yeah. 
can definitely taste the fruit now. <laughs> it's like an apple. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's like a vanilla apple. A spicy vanilla apple. That is like, bottle it up. Yeah, I definitely taste that vanilla. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Mm, I'm weak. This one, okay. Be it fair. This is technically, so this isn't the highest rye bourbon. They're single barrels. Mm -hmm. The highest rye bourbon at 35% rye. So, very, very high rye bourbon. I see. It, it's not like a lot of burn. It's not like I just took a tequila shot or something, but it's in. All right. It says you're going to have acid reflux later. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Annie. Here. I got it. I got <laughs> it. It's fine. I just didn't want a lot. <laughs> I'll use this for <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> yes. Uh... Oh, smoky. Is that just me? No. Oh my gosh, use this. Oh, okay. <laughs> was just... Don't waste. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a little bit drunk. No. Mm, definitely smoky. All right. I just stepped onto the campground. The fire is already burning. Marshmallows are being toasted. It's a crisp wow. spring night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe early summer. <laughs> I chased cherries. Smell cherries. You I chased? I smell <laughs> cherries. I smell cherries. I smell like bees. <laughs> <laughs> you not smell those? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you not smell them? <laughs> Cherries? Yeah. They're, just They're right there. <laughs> How do you not smell them? <laughs> um, that's that's way different from that. Yeah, it's way smoother. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. burn. There no. is like no burn with this guy. No. Um, oh, I like that. It's, I feel like it's kind of nutty. Mm, yeah. Nutty, smoky, sweet. Mm hmm. My ranking Redemption, uh, Old Forester. <coughs> Old Forester. That's it. That's my ranking. Redemption, Old Forester, Larceny, Four Roses. I'm probably going to do Old Forester. Mm hmm. It was really good. And then I'm probably going to do. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Also very good. And I'm probably gonna do four roses. Oh, larceny's at the end. And larceny's at the end for me. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, there were, I was really expecting these to both be like really spicy. Mm -hmm. um, and they weren't. It kind of shocked me. This one wasn't really spicy at all. This one, a little bit. Yeah. Um, But like if you just oh my God. <laughs> handed Sorry. both of these to me and were like, oh, taste these. I really, I would not be able to be like, well, that's obviously a rye and that's a weeded bourbon. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. I think like these though, like when you taste, these are definitely spicy, like have the spice going yeah, on. Yeah, they're a little bit spicier, but this one just had such an interesting flavor. Yeah. That. I'm really tasting the chocolate in this. Really? As an aftertaste, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But and, yeah, I... Mm -hmm. Um, so what do we what are our notes about all of these? This one, super sweet. So, yeah, very sweet. Super sweet, affordable. If you like sweet bourbon, mm -hmm. it's a good pick. Yep. This one, I don't even know what to say about it because I felt like it just had such interesting flavors. Yeah. Also sweet, but I don't know. Good. Sweet but good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you just have no words for it. Yeah, I don't. What do you have? Um, I also have pretty much no words. Yeah, you just have for to it. Get you just it gotta and try, try it. it. And I can, <laughs> but you know what? I can definitely see people who are like, that wasn't worth it. Yeah, it is. I will say a little that, bit of a, like a 
pricier if you're just wanting something yeah to and, mix drinks with or something yeah and i also think like i've had stuff that's stronger in certain flavors mm -hmm. than that and but that's okay it's still really great and if you're a beginner and you're looking for something a little bit higher end but you're still not comfortable with the rise or you're looking for something sweeter this is definitely a good option yeah i, I can see why it always gets put as like beginners bourbon yeah. like to try that's me yeah <laughs> um all right <clears throat> four roses spicier for sure um has a little bit more of a kick but it's still not bad if you're like wanting to start trying rice mm -hmm. probably be fine yeah, it's like high rye <laughs> bourbon. Yeah, yeah. This is like okay, a good. Bourbon, yeah. yeah, this is a good transition. Mm -hmm. And this is just a good solid bourbon. Yeah, that is just delicious. So that is just there's nothing. And this one's cheap and easily found too, right? Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely like her a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweeter than this one. So yeah. Okay. So did you have anything else to say about anything? No, that's it. We're done. Okay. Um, so next week, I do know what we're going to be doing. Oh, so it's not a surprise every week. It's not going to be a surprise. Well, the whiskey itself will be a surprise. Oh, okay. But the topic is Irish whiskey and pot stilling. Oh. So we're going to learn about how the mash gets turned into the alcohol, basically. Oh, cool. Yep. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. And just drink it. Just drink it. <laughs> <laughs>